that was the worst daydream Timmy ever had. If Peggy the cook really is normal, she'll chop Timmy and Toto into teeny tiny bits and throw them into soup. <sighs> Timmy has to figure out who that Peggy really is once and for all. So sorry, Brian. I had no idea I'd lost that much money in that card game. Don't blame yourself, Diana. These guys are professional hustlers. They make a living off of innocent people. It's not a very nice way to talk about your old partner, Brian. I wish the hell I'd never met you, Nick. But you did. Which means you know just how serious Diana's situation is. Like I said, even if I did forget about the debt, the people I work with won't. They want their money, and they want their money now. Well, I'll tell you what, you'll just have to go back and tell them that they're out of luck. This time they messed with the wrong person. You know better than that, Brian. Diana doesn't come up with the money she owes, you both wish she had. Now I'm leaving the island today. If you want to have a nice, rosy future with Blondie here, I suggest you make sure my pockets are bulging with cash when I do. What if they're not? And my bosses will extract payment in another form. Your life and his. I've got to find Simone before Chad does. Oh, you know, Simone, she wears her heart on her sleeve. I'm afraid if she ever did fall in love and get her heart broken, it could do severe psychological damage. I can't let Chad tell Simone that he's in love with me instead of her. Chad wanted to talk to me, so here's his chance. Just better tell me the truth. I will not stand by and watch my daughter be executed by the state. Oh, stop, okay? It is not going to come to that. Yes, it will. If you don't take back your confession. Mama, I don't need to recant. It is all going to work out. You'll see. How? You tell me how, when you keep insisting that you killed Julian Crane. This is not one of your fantasies, Teresa. This is real life, and it doesn't always have a happy ending. I know, Mama. Do you? When you are released from this hospital, those guards will take you to jail. And once that baby is born, they will take you to the death. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't even say the words. Please. Please. If not for yourself. You tell the truth. For me. Are you sure, Dr. Russell? And Teresa could have the baby at any moment? When Braxton Hicks contractions occur this close to the due date, sometimes they can trigger the real thing. But, but what am I going to do? Oh, I hope that you're going to file this appeal immediately. Otherwise, it's going to be too late. Doctor, I have the results of the test you ordered. Oh, thank you, Monica. Let me excuse us, Ethan. Oh, yeah, of course. I know Ethan will find a way to save me. I know he will. I'm, I'm trying, Teresa. It's just there's no time. What, what else am I going to do? I mean, short of breaking her out of jail. No fat chance of that happening. There are plenty of security there. Wait a minute. There's plenty of security at the jail, but there seems to be a lack of it here at the hospital. This could be my only hope of saving Teresa. I have to help her escape. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave no places and kiss the lips of the one who could.
sing so If I were you, Brian, I'd find a way to come up with the dough. My bosses have to come here and collect. He won't be as friendly as I am. Wait. Change your mind? It's not that. I have to know if Brian's right. <laughs> About what, beautiful? Watch it, Nick. Proprietary, isn't he? I have to know. You said that you recognized me. Brian says you were lying just to get my attention. He's right, isn't he? Actually, no. He's wrong. I may not strike you as the straightest shooter in the world, Diana, but I was telling the truth. I've seen you before I laid eyes on you in Bermuda. I don't know exactly where, but I'll figure it out. I told you, Diana, don't listen to a word he says. Everything that comes out of his mouth is a filthy lie. <laughs> not this time, Brian. Even con men tell the truth sometimes. Besides, who could forget a face like this? I never worked for you, though, did I? <laughs> Hardly. You're way more classy than the girls I used to hire. And I used to uh, take care of my girls very well, if you know what I mean. No, I definitely remember if you were one of them. Nick, why don't you take a hike now? Okay, Brian. I want to be late for my massage. Oh, Diana. I used to wear diamonds, expensive gowns, and I could swear it was London or Paris. And you lived a very different life than the one you've got here. Like you have amnesia, or you'd be pining away for your old lifestyle. I don't know about that. Trust me. Once you taste life with money, nobody likes to go back. Hey, why don't you kiss me an idea? And you know what? She's not interested. I'm talking to the lady, big guy. You know, we can forget about this whole uncomfortableness. If you drop Beach Boy here and go out with me, I can offer you a lot more than a broken down boat. I'm not interested. Okay. Guess we're back to where we started. I'll see you before I leave the island with the money. Mama, please don't cry. Okay, I'm not gonna die. Why can't you trust that I know what I am doing? Because I know you more than you know yourself. So much, Teresa. And yet I have failed you. I have failed you in the worst no, possible no, no, way. No, 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 Mama, don't, don't say that. You have, your whole life, lived your everyday reality in some kind of fantasy world. Because I believe in fate. It's more than that, Teresa. You've never been able to understand that your actions have serious consequences. And that's where I've, I've let you down because I didn't insist on you learning this. I just, I don't know, I thought that maybe somehow you would outgrow your dreams and start living in the real world. Oh, Mama, Mama, this is not your fault. See, I didn't want to give up my dreams. And, and if you think about it, I didn't have to. Ethan, you fell in love with me. He asked me to marry him, Mama. Yes, yes, I know that that hasn't worked out yet, but it will, Mama. Someday, it will. This is what I'm talking about. How can you possibly be fantasizing about some romantic future with Ethan when the judge has ruled that you will not have one at all? Because Ethan, he will not let me be executed, Mama. You heard him. He will find a way to save me, Mama. And do you know why? Because he loves me. What is wrong with you? Uh, what is wrong? 
is wrong with you? Did you not hear the judge, Teresa? Once that baby is born, you will be put to death. And there's nothing Ethan or anyone can do to stop that. Now that is your reality, Teresa. And it's time you faced up to it. Mama, if reality means giving up all of my dreams, then I don't want to live in the real world anyway, Mama. I'd rather be dead. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll take one of these. Yeah, sure, go ahead. So, you were going to try to tell me something early, but we got sidetracked. And... Yeah, you're right. I was. Um, <laughs> and it's something that I should have talked to you about a while ago. So, uh, what is it? It's about you and me. I'm sorry, Simone. Someone's I've actually come up with Ethan. I gotta go talk to him, so, uh, can we do this later? Okay, but I really want to clear the air. And just... we will. I promise. What's up, dude? Good job. Good to see you. Yeah, I know. You, uh, going somewhere? Uh, I wish. <laughs> So, uh, any news on Teresa? No, not really. So, uh, what's in the bag? Nothing. Nothing. So, since when do you carry around doctor scrubs, man? Just, it's none of your business yet. Don't worry about it. And unless you're planning on impersonating a doctor. Well, don't worry about it, all right? Oh, no. You're planning on springing Teresa out of the hospital right after she has the baby so she doesn't go back to jail. Is that it? Chad, I said, just don't get involved, all right? Uh, like you wouldn't if I was about to make the biggest mistake of my life? Look, dude, Teresa is convicted of murder and sentenced to death. Now, we all might think she's innocent, but there is a right way and a wrong way of doing things. And if you help her escape, man, you're not going to be going to jail. You're going to lose everything, all right? You're going to lose your career, your freedom, Look, everything. I don't care, all right? We're talking about Teresa here, right? The woman I was going to marry, the woman I still love. I can't just sit back and watch them execute her. She goes back to jail. There's no way out. If I want to help her, I have to do it now. I'm not gonna let you do this, man. I'd rather turn you in first. You won't. Not if you're my friend. Well, that's why I'm trying to stop you from making a terrible mistake. You'd do the same thing if it was Whitney. You know you would. There's got to be another way, man. It... Only if she recants her confession, and I don't see that happening. I promise me, Chad, you won't say anything to anyone, not even Whitney. Right, the less anyone knows, the better. Good luck, man. Is he gonna need it? Oh. Look, I'm Bruce Rainey. Why don't you sit down and let Flo whip you up some eggs before you start your shift? I won't tell the old battle axe in there. That's okay, Flo. She was too scared to eat. But what'd she do now? Come on, you can tell me, honey. Terry doesn't think piggies really pay you. Oh, tell me about it, honey. It's hard to believe anybody could wake up that cranky every day. That's not what Timmy means. Flo, have you ever looked at Piggy's nose? Well, how could I miss it? That is some schnock. It's fake. Timmy thought start to burn and melt but she just put it on like putty on her face to me thinks her whole face is made of rubber well, you don't say but why would she be in disguise anyway i who do you think peggy really is a psycho who escaped from a mental war in harmony what was she in for? Trying to kill Timmy. Good grief. Who 
the man who called the police before she hurt somebody. Oh, Timmy! I could use some help in here! Chop, chop! There's got to be some way out of this. I am so sorry, Brian. If I had any idea how much those chips were worth... Don't beat yourself up, Dinah. You're just trying to do something nice. I knew how much you wanted that navigation system. I just... I figured if I could win enough money, then I could surprise you with it. You know, one of the next men must have overheard us when we were talking at the table. Yeah. When I first started playing, I was winning. I... I knew it was a lot of money, I did, but I didn't quite know how much. Yeah, I know. That's how they rope you in. They get you on a winning streak, and then when you try to get up from the table with your chips, you're on a losing streak. That's exactly how it happened. I figured if I could just win one hand, then I could win it all back. What an idiot. You're not the first person that's been conned by people like that. But there's one thing that I want to get straight with you right now. I, I, I've learned my lesson. I, I promise I will, I will never gamble again. No, it's not that, Diana. I know you're trying to do something nice for me. Buy me a gift, but I don't need any gifts, expensive or otherwise. Okay? All I want is you. Really? On my honor. Good. Because you got me. And I'm going to take care of you. And I'm going to keep you safe and sound, okay? How? And what if Nick isn't bluffing? Where are we going to get that kind of money? I don't know, Diana, but we'll figure something out. I promise you that. No, Brian, that... This is not fair. I mean, you have worked your entire life to get away from people like Nick, and now, because of me, you're getting pulled back into this world. No, forget it. I don't want you getting hurt. This is my problem. Ethan? I was trying to, uh... Talk some sense into my daughter with no success. Maybe you could try. Teresa, you know your mother's right. This is very serious. But you said that you were going to work on an appeal. Well, that was a plan, but there's no time. Oh, what does that mean? It means there's... Not much I can do to help you now. Once you have that baby. My God. But, but there is one more option. But it's and it's up to you entirely. Yes, what is it? Recant your confession. Tell the police the truth that you didn't kill Julian. Admit that you said it to protect the real killer. And tell them who it is. Scared. 
Although, Jimmy, I gotta tell you, your story sounds kind of familiar, you know, like something I saw in a movie once, maybe. I... Didn't we know about that? Jack, what is going on? I saw you out there talking to Simone, and then you were in such a rush to talk to Ethan. Is, is something going on with Teresa? Uh, no. No, not really. Everything's still the same. And about Simone... You didn't talk to her, did you? I mean, about us. Well, I was going to. I just didn't have a chance. Well, that's good. Wait, Whitney, we agreed. We agreed to tell Simone the truth about you and me. I know, but I'm not so sure anymore. Come on, Whitney. You, we've been through this. I love you, not Simone, and I think it's far more cruel to let her think anything else. Not if the truth messes her up, Chad. Look, I know it's going to hurt her feelings, okay? But she's young. She'll get over it. You don't it. know that. And neither do I. The last time Simone suspected that we were together, she almost got killed in a hit-and-run accident. I can't risk something like that happening again. So, so what are you saying? That we have to hide our relationship forever? No. Not forever. Just for now. Please. Chad, with Teresa being sentenced to death, I'm not sure that I can handle hurting my sister, too. All right. Maybe you're right, okay? Maybe, um, maybe now's not the best time, especially with all hell about to break loose. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Recant your confession. Let the real killer take the punishment. I'm responsible, Ethan. They have the right person. I know you didn't pull the trigger. I know you didn't. You sound as if you know who did. He does know, Mama. He knows that I didn't. He, he's trying to protect me, but it is no use. You are making a big mistake. Teresa, I'm begging you. If you know who the real killer is, please say it now. Noma hates Timmy. He's lucky to be alive. And you think she's recognized you? <sighs> she must have. Timmy hasn't changed since last time she saw him. Except he used to be a doll. To what? It's a long story. Oh. Let's just say God. Timmy's Christmas wish was granted <sighs> by the angel girl. Oh, you, you have got some imagination, kid. Mm. Mm -mm. Now, Flo, it's true. Didn't Timmy tell Flo that the princess is awake? <laughs> you know, honey, you are good. You know, you almost had me going there. Norma, dead father in the attic. Honey, I remember that movie now. It was Hitchcock. Great flick, but you know, you shouldn't make up stories that aren't true. I remember what happened to Pinocchio when he lied. Mm hmm? Uh-uh. Well, his nose got low. Did they? I think your nose is growing right now. Oh, no. Oh, she's up just playing with you, sweetie. Oh, she know you cracked me up. I tell you, an angel, a witch. <laughs> oh, and like Beggy's really a psycho ex murderer named Norma. <laughs> no, but she is. So sad believe to me. That's very funny. And I almost called the police. Oh. Oh, this is horrible. This is very horrible. Now Timmy's going to have to prove that Peggy is normal. All by himself. But how? You know, I can call in a few favors, but it's still not going to come close to the amount of money we need. I feel so stupid. I, I bet you wouldn't have fallen for a con game like this. Oh, if not, it's because I've already been burned. You know, it's like Brian said. These guys are professional. There's no way you could have known. But the worst part is that they've dragged Brian into it now. I can handle it, Diana. Okay. Wait a minute. My boat. What about it? Well, it's not finished yet, but it's all I've got. I mean, do you know anyone on the island who might be interested? Uh, no, Brian, you can't sell your boat. You love it. Not as much as I love you, Diana. 
Diana would not leave. She loves Brian too much, and he would never let her go. We'll see. But if I can do it, if I could find a way to take her away, Brian would be left all alone, just pining away, just waiting for someone to comfort him, to love him. You think he could be that person, Liz? It'd be sweet if he could, wouldn't it? It's so sweet. I'll check around. It's a nice boat. I'm sure someone will want it. Between our boat and the favors we can call in, we're still going to be way short. We're not even near the magic number. Hey, I want to thank you for being so understanding about all this. I truly think now is another time for Simone to hear what's going on with this. Well, as long as we tell her soon, okay? Because I don't think it's fair to let her think that she's got a future with me. I don't either. What are you doing here? Hey, I, um, I was actually looking for you, and I thought that Chad might know where you were, so. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah. Um, Mom just wanted me to check and see if you were still here, that's all. Tell her I'm fine. Okay. Chad wanted to talk to me privately, so, um... I was, I was just gonna go anyway, so... Um. You don't have to go, actually, because, um... Hey, Simone, hey, you know, it, it wasn't really a big deal. I just wanted to thank you again for sticking up for me when your mom and your dad thought I drugged with me, that's all. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, it really meant a lot to me, and I just wanted you to know that I really appreciate it. That's what girlfriends are for, aren't they? Yeah, listen, I, uh, I gotta run, okay? Okay. This one's for you. Oh, thanks. I'll see you guys later. I'm so glad that Mom and Dad have lightened up about Chad. I mean, now I can start spending some real time with him. Yeah. Well, you do know that you're still too young to be going out with an older boy. <laughs> So what? As soon as I turn 18, we can make our relationship official. Uh, um, <laughs> don't take this the wrong way, Whit, but I am so glad that I finally have something that you don't. Real boyfriend. It's just the three of us. You, me, and Ethan. If you tell us who really killed Julian Crane, it won't go beyond these walls. Just tell us the truth. Do it, Teresa. Do as your mother says. Let the real murderer go to the death chamber for what he's done. There's nothing more to say, Mama. Oh, and I'm going to lose my little girl. <sighs> or maybe if, I, maybe if I talk to her alone. And I've made up my mind. Teresa, I know you think you're doing the right thing, There's but you're no not. There's no other way, okay? Yes, there is. No, I won't. Yes, let we can you... get you out of here. What? Before they take you to jail, you need to escape. We're not even close to the amount of money we need to get these guys off our backs. I've really done it this time, haven't I? You know, this place is mortgaged to the hilt, but I bet I can squeeze a few more dollars out of the bank. You would do that for me? It's only money, right? Liz, you have been more than good to me. I, I swear I will find some way to repay you. Uh, yeah, me too, Liz. Thanks a lot. Don't be silly, guys. Well, even with Liz's help, we're still short. We better think of something else, something major. 
Like what? I have no idea, but I better think of something quick, because these guys are not known for their patience. I'll go get us some more coffee. Hey, Liz, thanks again. I owe you for life. What else is new, Brian? <laughs> you already did. I know, I know. Listen, there is something I didn't tell you. About what? Diana. Nick said he wants to make a move on her. Try and take her away from you. He made it sound like that he would forget the debt if he could wind up with her. I know. Nick had the nerve to say something like that to me, too, but I set him straight. I mean, I'm not going to make any deals wherever Diana's concerned. I will protect her, Liz. Maybe my boat's worth more than I thought. Let me look in the paper to see if there's any other boats for sale. I don't think I heard you right. Yes, you did. There's only one way to get you out of here. One way to make sure you don't die for a crime I know you didn't commit. You need to escape, and we gotta do it now. Now, Ethan, I mean, there's guards outside. I'll take care of them. But I need you to do exactly as I say. No, you could get you could get caught. And... It's the only thing we can do, right? We need to get you as far away from here as we can. Can you run away together? Yes, but we need to be very careful. Okay. I need you to do exactly as I say. Here's the plan, Toto. When Peggy comes back, she'll drink this picture of Martimi's, and then she'll fall asleep. Timmy will take her mask off and he'll take pictures of her real face and take them to the police. And they'll have to believe that she's Norma. If you don't like my hook, hit the road! All right, Jonah. Timmy has to hide. What have we here? Liquid libation. <laughs> oh, yes. What the hell? Oh, not bad. I have another. Even familiar. Yeah, I think I've had this before. <laughs> what is it? You know, I've been thinking, maybe I should just talk to Nick. Tell him the situation. Tell him I'd be happy to pay him in installments over time. Oh, sorry, honey. Nick did not strike me as the installment kind of guy. I gather he wants the whole thing in one big chunk. I don't think it's worth a shot. No, and I wouldn't let you talk to him alone anyway. Why not? I can handle myself. No, I said. Well, then I don't know what we're going to do. There's no way that we can come up with that kind of money. Maybe there is. No, Brian, you can't do it. What is it? Brian, you promised. You can't do that. Wait, I, I didn't say that to make you feel bad. Oh, honey, I know you didn't. It's just that you've always been the perfect sister. Always. You always had everything come more easily for you, and I know I shouldn't feel this way, but it really, it gives me more confidence knowing that a boy fell in love with me first. Does that make sense? I understand. I understand totally. I have a question for you. Sure, what is it? I was over at Kay's house when the news came on. And they showed everybody's reaction when Teresa was sentenced to death. Really? And I saw you in Chad's arms. And the way that he was holding you, it looked like you two were a lot more than just friends. 
Look, I was so upset I couldn't even see straight. And uh, Chad was just making sure that I didn't fall apart. That's all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I tried to tell Kay. Yeah. Did you see how happy Chad was now that he doesn't have to keep his distance from me? He's really grateful to you for sticking up for him, with Mom and Dad. I was the only one who did. Even when you weren't 100% sure, I was. I guess that's why he fell in love with me instead of you. You can go now. Hmm? Oh, great. I was getting hungry. <laughs> hey, Eric, you gonna take the girl to jail? Those are our orders. Okay. I have a request. This is gonna be very difficult for my patient. I'd like to come with her. I uh, got no problem with that. Thank you. I'll let her know that it's time to go. We did it, Ethan. You saved my life. Hey, look, Teresa, don't jump the gun. All right, we just got out of the hospital. It doesn't mean we're home for yet. Oh, but it does to me. I cannot believe that you did this for me. It was the only way out. Well, now what? Now what? Where do we go? Well, for starters, we got to get you out of Harmony. Once the hospital realizes you're gone, they're going to send out the entire police force looking for you. Oh, it's so risky. What if they figure out that we're together? Ethan, I don't want you getting into any trouble. It's too late for that. All right, I've already helped a convicted murderer escape. All right, there's no turning back. We're both fugitives now. 